guys, welcome back to Join Coder. Today we continue to next episode. We will explain how to move connection to HTML file, and we will create a new class with the existing projects. After you get the explanation to design dashboard form, now we will add the action. Create a form, we will create a function to implement to full project. I hope you can enjoy step by step with my video. Today I will show you how to create a class and create connection in a class. Okay, so now let I create a new folder. I put the name class and in class folder I will create a new class I put connection connection actuals let me show you all form that we can get data from a database so we use the form in the previous video we use the form to get data let to run and click ok we get a result Okay, so let's start to create or move our connection to class. Actually, we have created this connection like this. So I move right now to our class in here. We can copy and pass and import step by step. We need to use npm actual. So we can we need to use sys the delta so you just click on it and then it will show what you need to import when we are move connection like this so it still work or not we can test and we can call it to use any place any form so if we want to call the function in the class we need to instant a class I write class name Condition issuers as con issuer. We need to extend like this and call con dot issuer like this. Let to test. Okay, it means our connection is can connect successfully. And if we want to change at the table, let me test one more thing. Okay, now we just can get from at the table also. So connection if it working. After we get data test already, so now we want to move the connection to HTML file. Okay, so we need a function to read from HTML file. So I will write a function. document and we need to load the path we need to assign document path so we can use class load and path here okay so after we get we can xml node xml node to for stores we can write a node and node equals xml dot and that document element okay and next so let to create HTML file. Let to create a new HTML file. I will keep in here, and I will write the name is connection. Dot HTML. Okay. So we what we need to write. So I will move to this. I need the server name port. 
users, password, and database. Let me copy here. I will write, uh, I will put dictionary, the name is sys close and I put elementary, elementary, I need what I need, I pass here and I put servers, okay, and close server and I need a port, close port and I need IP. Sorry, I need a part and then need a uh, users. Users, I need a password. Password. Okay, and I need a DB name. DB name. Okay, so let me copy this one step by step. So, so your code. After we get this dictionary, we need to loop. We need to use for loop or while loop, anything. But we need to get data from this. So we we can use other way. Also can get. But now I use loop for get. It's easy and fastly because it is short. Right? It's short. So I use for each from the XML node. Eyes, or I, I write an in node node below dot child. Sorry, child child nodes. And that node name that name equals. Okay, example servers. I put here here is servers. Sorry. After we get this, if it get the value from the server, we need to assign to variable. Okay, so we need to create variable. I will create public static. Okay, string with underscore servers equals string dot empty. Okay, we need to assign variable in here. And server equals node and dot test. Okay, so let us test to call test in here. And then we call condition HL dot reach HML. We assign format is application dot startup plus file name. So put backslash and condition HML. Okay. Okay, let's run to test. We'll get the result into variable. Okay, now our variable can get uh, data in here and get from HTML file. So the next step we need to declare all variable here in our project. So put like this and I will write L if okay let me copy this one. So I, if it for port, it will assign rival port. Okay, and copies all. Okay, and start to assign with our rival here port already, and start to assign from users. We assign users. Okay, and password, we move to password, yes, and db name, we assign to db name, like this. And then we will remove the variable to empty, okay, let to copy this first and string that empty. And then after we finish assign value in here, we will replace one by one to our connection like this. Okay, I hope you can get this one. We just replace only, replace. 
and username password and db name okay and then finally we will return this string so let us start to test again check our organization and then click okay and finally we will get the string okay okay it can assign all variable into here and we see the next step we can get that or not yes it's work our connection move to HTML is successfully now I want to test other tables okay Ducks. I will replace here okay unlock this okay now it's get all this can get but if I want to change to other database name database I will copy from this one to replace in HTML yeah just only day and if the same table is okay but now I want to change other user it have only one in here like this and then click yes it can get all is working with HTML file if you want to see a result here you can check it the same or not okay it is the same our connection move to HTML and create a class is successfully thank you for watching I hope it can help or you can enjoy this video